Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome back to the No Sleep Challenge. Uh, as it turns out, I lied to you last time because we are back here at spawn base. But luckily for me, not because I died, but I just took a wrong turn and uh, dug myself out in the wrong direction uh, ending up uh, over there quite a bit but on the way I came across some sheep and cows and uh, I think this is a good time for a bit of uh, change of plan um, so let's make a cow pen Um, we can put the raw cut in here and then we can probably do with a bit of ooh that was close uh, thunderstorm. They can be scary. Um, I don't need that much cobble on me. So let's make a new shovel. Close the door. Um. Flatten the area a bit here. So we can have a nice pen and then breed up the cows for leather mainly. And then Okay, storm passed by and it's still day. Just barely. You never can tell when it's raining, what's the time of day, because you don't see the sun, you don't see the moon. Well, probably night time is a bit darker and daytime but yeah don't have enough friends Let's make a bit more. Enough. And with the fence here uh, along the line, you cannot get. Uh, out from the inside you have to use the door but you can get in so let's get this cow in all right number one is in uh, let's do the same for the other one don't wander off And then let's breed them up. Um, one sheep went up there. Uh, 
Come back. You're going into the fence as well. Nice. And... Ooh. Okay, one fight we won. And where did the other sheep wander off? Saw it in this direction last time. And generally speaking, it's not a good idea to have uh, animal pen in your spawn chunks because these are always loaded. Um, and uh, thereby uh, the mob cap is filled up. So I experienced that in my other Minecraft series where I had a huge cow pen right at spawn. Uh, which basically resulted uh, therein that uh, no no uh, mobs no peaceful mobs would uh, spawn anywhere else and basically you can do this as kind of a mob switch uh, especially for the uh, hostile mobs, this can be quite handy. Uh, usually you're using uh, um, shulkers for that because uh, they do not despawn um, and do not need to be uh, named. Right, so let's do the smelting here and we do have a bit of uh, goodies over here and over there. Let's sort this out a bit, this chest right at the entrance. It's a bit of a inconvenience. So maybe we can get rid of it. By moving all the stuff over here. Very unorganized, my inventory. All right. Let's fill this up. Another row of chests going.
than all the wheat we have. Apparently, yes. So, this will have to do. And we will need a bit more iron and gold because eventually we need some uh, golden apples. The fight of the uh, ender dragon. And maybe it can also come in handy when, uh, when, when dealing with... Uh, uh, the nether. Okay, having a bit more of a lip here is helpful as it prevents uh, spawning of uh, phantoms. But morning is here, so. Ooh, quite a few. And a zombie. And another attack run. They should burn up. Pretty soon. Yeah. There they go. So let's eat up and look for that missing sheep. Uh, where are you? Have to be somewhere here around. There you are. Oh, and there's a chicken. We can have uh, a chicken farm because I think that's really the easiest way to get uh, to get food. All right, so let's read you up as well. And we got another brown sheep. So um, then let's turn our attention to the farm. Harvest what we can. It's not quite ripe. Carrots are. Let's replant. All right, so at least the, uh, that was unintentional, at least the, the weed and the, uh, yeah, other farmy bits. They need to have a player nearby. Um, so that they grow. Um, 
let's also fetch that chicken from over there. There is a pig, uh, but I don't think pigs are that useful. Yep. Nice. Are you ready to breed again? Probably help. Yep. Doing it with wheat. Yeah, you stay in. You stay in. And I left the door open. Um, this is cooked. That is cooked. All right. We do have let's smelt up that iron. The things in here, the egg as well. Also add that in here. Then I think some more log chopping here on this side as you can never have enough wood. And having a bit of an uh, open area does not help with uh, phantoms at night, um, but if you can light it up, it helps with auto mobs. And phantoms, at least if they do not group up in uh, huge groups, they can be dealt with uh, silly. At least once we got a, a decent sword, it should be a one or a two hit kill. So more wood chopping. And once the leaves have decayed, um, we can then also light up the area. And then probably we will go bit of uh, uh, fishing here so I can breed up the cows get enough leather get enough sugarcane for paper so we can craft quite a bunch of books and uh, once we are set we can return uh, to the the village try to get some uh, librarians with uh, good book trades and uh, get ourselves geared up even better if we 
could also get a, a cleric. It would also be nice because the clerics um, uh, they uh, trade and pearls, uh, at least at the at the higher level. Um, and and the pearls we need to get to the end. And at least if we don't want to uh, to get them uh, uh, by slaying Endermen, which can be um, a bit of uh, hard to come by. You usually see more uh, uh, more zombies and uh, skellies than endermen. Probably also more more creepers for sure. This probably does not work, but we can lower the terrain here a bit. And then have more farmland. As everything is still close by the, the waterfront, this should be okay. And let's ourselves here row back. This not farmed. Okay, and go ahead and light up a bit more. We'll probably run out of torches. And the last one here. Then the door is still open. Can craft a few torches. Light up there, and then probably we will hear some screaming phantoms. Phantoms soon enough. Right. This looks. Yeah, I can already hear them. Okay, that was three bites, so let's stick to the cover up and uh, then 
I will call this episode a wrap uh, between now and the next one. I will probably do some fishing just to get the, uh, the stock of uh, wheat and leather up so we can have a decent progress next time. So until then, goodbye.